yesterday the world has celebrated 2024 and 1st january as a new year and the world has witnessed that people had welcome 2024 but do you know that what is the significance of 1st january in the history of tribals yes we are talking about kharsawan massacre hello everyone welcome to the in new series of drishti is i am ritu and today's session is about kharsawan massacre and what is the significance of this massacre and what is the similarities between jallianwala bagh massacre and kharsawan massacre so moving towards the points of discussion part first of all we are going to discuss the news and then struggle for an adivasi state and we are also going to discuss the problem of kharsawan's merger with odisha echoes of jallianwala bagh after math and practice question for prelims so moving to the news part so kharsawan is a place which is present day located in jharkhand and uh, there is a massacre happened on 1st january 1948 so when in prelims examination if there will be the questions like this that this incidence is before independence or after independence then your answer would be that this incidence is after independence because here it's 1948 and you may wonder that this is against the britishers no this is not against the britishers we don't know that who is the main culprit of such massacre but definitely not the britishers so today we are going to discuss the significance of kharsawan massacre and what is the history behind this massacre and why there is unraveling truth which is still to be known regarding this massacre so moving to the next slide next slide is about struggle for an adivasi state so what uh, exactly happened in kharsawan massacre so on 1st january 1948 a weekly hut or weekly market has been organized in kharsawan where people had gathered to listen their powerful leader which is jaypal singh munda and for that so many people have arrived at a very small place but suddenly a police started firing on the innocent people so that incidents led to the massacre and so many people especially the adivasis died into this massacre so that uh, we'll discuss in this slide that what is the history behind this thing so in 1912 we already know that Bengal presidency was partitioned and it was partitioned between Bengal and Bihar and Odisha so we have two states first is the Bengal and the second is Bihar and Odisha and in 1920 uh, 12 itself the demand for a separate uh, tribal state was articulated so whenever there will be the question and for your better understanding you should know that when this demand has been erupted so this demand has been erupted before 1912 also and after 1912 what happened that simon commission report published in 1930 and what simon commission report says about the what is the division between bihar and odisha and bengal presidency so the simon commission report says that this is the most artificial division because bihar and odisha have a different kind of cultural linguistic uh, different kind of so many differences and it's very difficult among all the provinces that different kind of people are living together so this is also the report of simon commission that they had also questioned about such kind of the division and in 1936 odisha formed but demand of the tribals and adivasis remain unheard and there was no separate state for the adivasis has been formed and in 1938 what happened that the adivasi mahasabha was formed and uh, who was the leader of adivasi mahasabha so jaypal singh munda who was a former hockey player also uh, was a leader of this uh, adivasi mahasabha and in 1938 there was a demand that there should be the separate state for the tribal land or tribal state so this was the struggle behind the adivasi state but still we didn't have such state and uh, what happened that problem of kharsawan merger with odisha so we already know that currently kharsawan is located in jharkhand but what is the peculiar feature about the kharsawan that most of its population was odia speaking and they have given uh, when there was a merger happening in 1947 and this was the time that during 1947 1948 so many princely state decided that they will merge with the indian union and similarly kharsawans also decided they will merge with the indian union 
बट दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू एक्सेप्ट दिस फैक्ट दैट दे वॉन्ट टू मर्ज विद उड़ीसा दे वॉन्ट टू मर्ज विद झारखंड और दे वॉन्ट टू मर्ज विद बिहार बिकॉज द ऑल्टरनेटिव ऑप्शन दे हैव बिन प्रोवाइडेड विद बिहार दे वॉन्ट देयर सेपरेट स्टेट बट दिस कुड नॉट हैपन एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम एंड दे हैड डिसाइडेड दैट दे विल मर्ज विद करेंटली इट्स इन झारखंड बट मोस्ट ऑफ द आदिवासीज वर नॉट हैप्पी विद दिस मर्जर बिकॉज दे वर ओडिया स्पीकिंग पॉपुलेशन एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन हु आर द आदिवासीज हु आर नॉट इवन द ओडिया स्पीकिंग एंड दे हैव अ डिफरेंट कल्चर फ्रॉम अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑल द हिंदू कल्चर दे हैव अ डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज ऑल्सो दे हैव अ डिफरेंट डांस दे हैव अ डिफरेंट फूड सो दे आर वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द एग्जिस्टिंग पॉपुलेशन एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट द आदिवासीज वर नॉट हैप्पी विद दिस मर्जर and since uh, of all this dissatisfaction on 1st january 1948 they had decided that in kharswan weekly heart mela they will be the talk and discussion on and there will be the merger of this uh, the merger will happen and there will be the demand for the separate state for the adivasis and who was the chief guest of this whole event so jaypal singh munda was the chief guest of this whole event so this was the Kharswan's merger with Orissa moving to that what happened next so uh, there was a book written by journalist Anuj Kumar Sinha the book name is unsung heroes of jharkhand movement and why we are discussing this kind of things because many times we always study the popular history and we don't know about such kind of things in our textbooks so our textbooks needs to cover and everybody should know the significance of the tribal's history and significance of this day in our history writing so that's why we are discussing and so many people also there to see the merger between the kharswan and odisha and so many people also gathered to have a glimpse of jaypal singh munda because he was the tallest leader for the tribals at that time and so many people also gathered because it was a weekly hard time and they were shopping in the week, that area so because of that not only a few thousand people almost 50000 people gathered in a very small area and uh, they have gathered for their multiple regions but the main focus of attraction was the jaypal singh munda and due to some reasons jaypal singh munda didn't turn up to that event and suddenly what we have seen that police started firing and because of that so many stampedes happen people started running here and there and uh, uh, so many people died the police what uh, the police did that uh, they had uh, started catching the different dead bodies and they started dumping into the well so many dead bodies jumped into the nearby forest and so many people left uh, because they were so injured and it was a cold time because since it's jan and they were not given any proper treatment and because of that so many people also died and many people injured into this thing so this was the whole incident which is very unfortunate in the tribal history so uh, moving on echoes of jaliawala bag so why we are this thing is comparing with the jaliawala bag so in jaliawala bag also many people gather to celebrate a particular festival but here uh, also so many people uh, here to Uh, attend the weekly market and also to show the jaypal singh munda but di- this didn't turn up and without any reason without any prior information many people died many people had to face shot from the police so this unfortunate incident happened just like the jaliwala bag so that's why we are comparing this day with the jaliwala bag so this is the uh, similarities between jaliwala bag and kharswan massacre and uh, the in the history this is one of the most horrific incidents for which we don't know that what is the exact reason and who is the main culprit of this reason so this is the very unfortunate incidents which had happened in our history and because of that it's related to the tribal population who are marginalized it is not the part of mainstream history and so many young population didn't know about this incident so it's an appeal for the government of india that they should know and the youngsters and every should body should know that what had happened in the kharswan massacre and these kind of massacre should also be part of our textbook so uh, moving on though so what happened aftermath 
so we already had discussed that so many people were dumped in the well and they had also dumped in the nearby forest so many people left injured in the field so because of that many casualty happened and uh, according to the statesman report only 35 tribals have died but it is not true the pk dev who has written in memoir has said that more than 2000 adivasis have died into this massacre so what we have seen that uh, the accounting of history has also not been in a very right manner and so many adivasis had sacrificed their life for this particular thing and we are only counting just 35 adivasis the fact is that more than 2000 people have died but there is no counting and there is no significance of all their sacrifice which they have made to have their own land so what is the aftermath of this thing so we know the villain of jallianwala bag that who is the villain and who is the main culprit of the jallianwala bag but we didn't know that who had started this first thing and who is the main culprit of this particular incident it's been more than 7 decades and historians and the government still are unaware about this facts that who was the main culprit behind this things and what is the sacrifice of all those 2000 adivasis so this is the aftermath of this kharswan massacre so moving on to the practice question for prelims consider the following statement regarding the kharswan massacre since it has been covered in the newspaper maybe it can come to your prelims examination and in mains also maybe there can be the question from this section and history optional also maybe there can be that write a answer on to this particular incidents and why it has been compared to the jallianwala bag incidents so you must know about this both similarities and what was the actual happening between these two massacre so your first statement is it took place in 1912 and the second is jaypal singh munda was the leader of it and here you have to find the correct statement so kindly answer in the comment section i hope you like this session if you have any questions related to this session kindly ask in the comment section thank you